late in 2016 um, is when I hear that the black people brought here on the slave ships could possibly be the same people that the whole Old Testament is written about, the Israelites. And so I started to research that and read and watch videos and read things online. And it, especially after reading Deuteronomy chapter 28, um, the first half of the chapter is the is the blessings that Israel will receive if they just keep the commands. That's all they had to do. And then the um, the second half is the the curses that are going to fall on them if they don't keep the commands. Please go read those. Go read those and think about what these people have been through since day one of arriving in this country as slaves. And you. Um, uh, just make up your own mind and pray about it and see where the Father leads you on that. That's all I can say. Um, for me, personally, this is my journey. And for me, it brought the scriptures alive to me. Like, I believed it. Like, these are, to me, his people that um, are still living this curse. Black people over here getting killed. The black people in other countries scattered in the slave trade. That's the real biblical Hebrew Israelite. So as a Gentile, I'm here to profess. Black people, you are Israelites, you are the chosen ones, you are a prestigious people. The black people, the people of color that are here, that have been brought here from Africa, their ancestors brought here from Africa, are the Hebrew Israelites. Um, they're even in the uh, African dictionary, African and Negro are two different things, are two different classifications of people. Brothers and sisters, blacks of America, it's you. You are the true Hebrews. You are the true Hebrews from the Bible. I would interject that the true biblical Hebrews are the so-called African-American people that are scattered abroad throughout the world. The real Jews were Hebrews, black men who used to go there. Now the only race of people that were brought over on ships and sold as bondmen and bondwomen, which are slaves, are the so-called African-Americans. Specifically the people who have been sent all over the earth on slave ships, those people are superior, even in the Most High's eyes himself, because those people are the Israelites. And there's a scripture that says, not only it says if you bless them you'll be blessed, but there's also one that says you have to cling to them or you can't even be saved. I know the black people here are the true 